So we really like a drill that kind of encompasses a lot of things. You don't just have one specific part of the swing. Sometimes that's necessary. But when you want to tie a lot of things together and really start to create some dynamic movement and almost ensure that you're going to be moving correctly while doing it, this is probably our favorite drill for doing that. Absolutely. If there's one go-to drill that really ties the concept of the golf swing together and you get a lot of stuff for free when you do this drill that you don't even realize, we go to this particular drill over and over again. So let's talk about when you do this correctly before we show you exactly how to do it, some of the things that if you struggle with in your golf swing, this drill is going to help you fix. All right, the first thing that it's going to take care of and fix is the takeaway. Those of you that suck it inside or take it outside or really don't have a good idea of where this club should go and how to put it there, it's going to help you with that. Yeah, if you're kind of fish for positions in the takeaway, right? We've all done that and worked on our takeaway. It's kind of awkward to find out where this goes. You can scratch that off your list because this is going to show you exactly where the club is. It's going to actually make you get the club in the right spot for the takeaway. The second thing that's gonna help you fix is weight shift and the timing of the weight shift. So if you've ever struggled with, well, when do I shift the weight and how much and where should the club be? This drill kind of eliminates those uh, confusion. It'll kind of automate that, yeah. right? Third thing, just carrying it on up to the top here is this kind of halfway back position where the club tends to get off track for people. Getting the classic classic setup there yeah. and go that midway back. Yeah. So. You want that shaft pointing somewhere down here by the ball. Mm -hmm. And the reason this is important is because good golf is not just all stock swings, right? Mm -hmm. We have to hit off-speed shots, intermediate shots. When you can get that club on plane right here, not have it too under, or certainly not have it out there, you can just change directions at any point and hit the ball fairly straight. Yeah, getting this club up in a good spot here. If you want to finish the swing, that's pretty easy. Just continue the turn. Or if you want to change directions and hit the ball, you can. To me, this is the hardest part of the golf swing for people to figure out. Right. They don't have a clue you know, when to start down, where the club should be, where the body should be, the timing of the shift forward. There's just there's some confusion about that. Well, there's, a real, there's a real kind of, and it makes sense when you think about there's a downswing, there's a backswing, then there's a downswing. But there's a middle part of the golf swing, and this teaches you the middle part of the swing. Yeah, the, the most elusive. Where it blends the two together. And that's yeah. what a lot of golfers struggle with having a middle part of their swing. You're going to learn that in this drill. You're going to be forced to do it well in this drill. And the next thing you're going to learn is how to utilize the ground. We measure this drill all the time with golfers and you can actually see a huge improvement with how they start to use the ground, the ground forces that they generate in their swing while doing this drill compared to maybe before we started doing the drill. The drill makes it all natural so you don't have to think your way through it. If you do this drill correctly, your ground reaction forces are gonna spike at the right time and they're gonna be higher and, and increase, which is gonna ramp up your clubhead speed. Right, and this is probably gonna teach you to do a few things to jump those ground reaction forces up that you may have been trying not to do. So having the technology, the, the ability to be able to measure these things will really start to shape how you start to move in the golf swing, and that's a big part of this drill. The drill itself. I'm gonna take my setup. I'm gonna do it without a ball first. Do not need a ball for this okay. at first. In my setup, lift the right heel off the ground. This leg will come in a little, and I'm just letting my wrist kind of swing to a, a release here with the toe basically up. Okay. From there, I'm gonna put my right heel down on the ground first. So I'm, I've got a little momentum. You can see my body shift to the right, mm -hmm. or away from the target. I'm gonna put the heel down and swing the club back like I'm hitting a left-handed shot backwards. So if there's a ball there, I would step, swing, and get this club kind of swinging back on its own weight because I gave it some momentum. Let's do that from down the line here. Okay, so in my setup posture, I'm going to swing the club forward and pick my heel up. I'm not facing the club in any way. I'm kind of still in my upper body, still kind of facing now the notice ball. Notice his start isn't way over here or it's not way out here. It's just kind of right in line over his shoes there. Yeah, so still kind of upper body positioned over the where the ball was at address in my posture, uh, set up posture. I'm going to put this heel down. That gives me the shift and I'm going to hit the left handed shot. And when I do that, magically, that club, if I have good body angles and I'm, I'm turning correctly, not making some kind of awkward pivot, this club, if I just stop here for now, is perfectly on plane. 
I've got the weight shifted in the right spot and the club head is swung up so the shaft is perfectly in a good spot here. You said the key there and that's swinging the club head, not trying to guide it or guide the hand. So add a little momentum to it so you can see the weight of the club start to help you get in the right positions. Yeah, we started calling this the swinging backswing because mm -hmm. everyone was so uh, getting locked up with putting the club into a position. So just make a backswing like you're hitting a left-handed shot and just swing it back there and it'll get into a pretty darn good position without you having to think too much, which it'll, is a great part of a drill. 100%, it'll feel very awkward to do this and get the club inside, or very awkward to go like this and have the club way out, hands way in. Like it's, it's very difficult to mess this up if you let it swing. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing drill because you really can't get off track unless you do something really awkward. Right, so we're up into the, towards the top of the backswing now? Yeah, so I'll show this one from face on. So forward club here, it's a shift with the, with the um, stepping on the right foot, the left-handed shot. As I get to the top, I just feel like I, I do the opposite. I go right, my left heel lightens, I put that one down and then I lighten the right one again. So it ends up feeling like a dance move. So I'll do it with the club upside down here so I don't hurt anybody, but. It's a one continuous motion just like that. And that takes care of plane, shifting, the correct amount of turn, the timing. It gives you a little bit of this stretch and transition that we're looking for. It gives you so many good things just from this one drill. And this is a great way to learn how to do this. Put the club upside down yeah. so you can be in charge of it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Once you graduate from that and you're ready to start hitting a ball, let's talk about the speed at which this should be done. Yeah, so at first, obviously you don't need to go fast, but you need to go smooth in one fluid motion. And, and film yourself so you know that you're doing it correctly. Yeah. Because you can't trust your feels when you're learning something new. Yeah, so the, the basic concept is, you know, whatever speed you go, and let's say you start at a slower speed, mm -hmm. the timing and the rhythm is the same. So if I start it forward here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the heel down, I'm gonna go back, make my little recentering, and I'm gonna swing through. I'm gonna think about that as all one fluid motion without any stops and starts in it. So instead of thinking back swing, down swing, you're just thinking one big swing. Okay. That, and then, that's a different thing in people's minds. Now, as you get more comfortable, you've done this a million times, start to ramp up the speed now. Right, yeah, so you can even put a ball down, hover the club above the ball a little bit, foot off the ground, heel down, whoosh, whoosh, like that. One fluid motion. And you saw all those same parts that we just discussed you saw them happen, but without any pauses, and they all blend together. That's the key. Exactly, and it teaches you. It teaches you that, like we talked about, the transition. As the club is finishing, and I'm backing in, the club's still finishing. The the, late, the lower body gets a little head start, then the arms start to lower. It teaches you that the sequence of events too, because you would never do this here. Put your foot down and then swing your arms like that. <laughs> You would get your lower body going a little and it would start to unwind and then that transfers all the way up into the golf club. And it, it really, if you do it correctly, let's say you put an eight iron on a tee and just went at half speed, you'd be surprised how far the ball goes because now that you're using the ground reaction forces more efficiently as well. So give the drill a try. Start slow, make sure you're doing it right, film yourself. Then as you get more comfortable making these movements, let the speed build. You'll start to see a difference in your golf swing, give it enough time and you will certainly start hitting the ball a lot better. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a like. Also, if you have any questions about today's video or you have an idea of a video that you want us to shoot, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. We read every single comment. We also respond to the comments. So again, leave us a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see. Now, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every single week and we don't want you to miss one. So by clicking subscribe, that ensures you're notified right away when a new video comes out. And hey, if you wanna add instant distance to your drive, and we all do, everybody wants more distance, go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment below. You're gonna see a link. Click on it, it's gonna take you to a page. You're gonna enter your name and email address. We're gonna send you an email where you're gonna get access to instant distance which is a video training that we put out we know it's going to help you we know we're going to see you farther down the fairway <laughs>